Hey, welcome back. This is your Grandpa KC. Today I'm going to talk to you about PC building. And I'm going to be reviews of the Zoomin T6 case. Recently, uh, my granddaughter said she needed a PC for her house, a desktop. And she's only nine years old, so she didn't really need anything fancy. At the same time, I had a lot, because we do a lot of uh, periodic reviews and TC reviews, and I do a lot of part, uh, computer repair here, I had a lot of leftover parts, a lot of motherboard and things. So I said, I could build you a nice PC, but I needed a case to put them in. So we're going to be reviewing the Zoom and T6 case, uh, and we'll just take a quick look at it. First thing when I I looked at this case, it has the it has a lot of room to put in a motherboard, various sizes, and as long as it's rear facing, it was great. Power it had room for the power supply, had room for a DVD, CD-ROM. It came with a cooling fan built in, and a lot of room for expansion. The, on the top of the case. Uh, your switches and connectivity, you have a, a USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0, and everything is right there in where you can easily get to it and, and install it. Now, what's really nice about this PC case is that it can take up to three hard drives or two hard drives, depending upon the size. In my case, I happen to I put a, a DVD ROM in it, I put a uh, and two. 2.5 solid state drives and I put a 3.5 drive. Like I said, this was a come together machine. I had all of these extra parts laying around and I said I'm going to build her something really nice at the same time. Uh, I needed something that was inexpensive to be able to build this. And actually, this is actually just after I finished putting everything together. Obviously, I have not dressed the wires. Don't give me a lot of comments. Oh, your wires are all every which way. Yeah, I know about it. I first wanted to plug everything together, make sure everything worked, and make sure that everything was great. As you can see, I had plenty of room to put the power supply, this DVD-ROM, the motherboard fit in great. I was able to put in a, a, a graphics card in it, and you can see the three and a half inch drive mounted on the side, and the other one there. And then later on, I did dress the wires. Yes, I did dress the wires, as you know. You need to dress the wires and get them out of the way for breast airflow. And because he wants to look good. But there's one thing I didn't like about this. By the way, if I haven't said so already, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Give us, give me your thoughts. Have you bought this case before? What were your thoughts? How did it work? Um, was the pricing right? I'm going to leave you the link on Amazon where you could find uh, this case or any other case. Please use the links. These are how we support the channel. Or well, don't forget to check out our t-shirt store. And let me show you what I didn't like about this case. From the front, you can see everything is great. And the drive fit in perfectly and the switches are easily accessible. In the front, there's a front air vents. And so you could put it. And so the airflow on this is great. Bad things I found about it. The first two slots are great. No problems. I was able to put the graphics card. When I tried to knock out the third, fourth, fifth, or sixth, right? They're not, they look pretty but they're not press fit, they're not cut. As you know, when you take one of these off, you bend it a little bit and it pops off and then you, you're able to put your whatever the device you're gonna put in there. Well, these are not press cut. Now, I don't, I've been reading the reviews on the product and yes, everybody was complaining about the same thing that, I mean, literally, it just twisted and turned everything. Now, I could have returned the case, but I already built the thing. So I had to get a pair of metal cutters and actually snip this thing off and then straighten it out. Not exactly the best uh, production line. I don't know whether it was the batch, okay, but that is something I didn't care for. I didn't really, uh, you know, if I had realized this in the very beginning, I might have sent the case back. But at the same time, the finished product worked really good. And, you know, once I straightened that little strip out and, and put the other expansion board in there with no problem. And this has been a quick review of the Zoom in T6 case. Uh, what are your thoughts about this? Did you use it? Did you, are you working with it? Have you used this have Zoom in products before? Give me your thoughts. Give me your products. You know, what other cases have you tried using? You know, put it in the comments. Don't forget to give us a like, share, and subscribe. Check out my other reviews. I did review another case that uh, was absolutely fantastic, but it was about twice the price. So I expected to get that kind of a quality out of it, and I'll leave you the link to that. Anyway, this is your Grandpa Casey. Until next time, you have a great day.